You're sick again! But I need you to come to the family party. You have to be my boyfriend for a couple of hours. Look, it'll be super easy, fun, etc. Hey, I'm a good actress, okay? You look fine anyway. You're handsome, just you look mildly sweaty and feverish. Nothing they can't handle. Look, I can even get you dressed and everything. You must have fresh socks around here somewhere. Oh, come on. I really can't convince you. Me? Get sick off of you? Sorry to break it to you, but my immune system is beefed out. You, on the other hand, I get the feeling you don't really have a well-balanced diet. Mm-hmm. What about vitamins? Water instead of soda? Yeah, I thought as much. <sighs> You have to look out for yourself, because nobody else is. It's a tough life lesson to learn, but you are your number one priority. I can't brush your teeth for you, I can't clean your room for you, I can't make you eat healthy. Only you can. Well, I mean, technically I can force you to do those things, but like, you get the point. <sighs> Gonna need to start expanding your brain. You see, I'm specialized. I'm both smart and a complete dumbass. It means I know things, but not too much to the point where I get depressed and live in my head all the time. <sighs> but anyways, back to the problem at hand. You're in bed and I need you up and leaving with me to this dang cook out. I promised you would show up. My mom was really curious about how we finally got together. I told her it just happened naturally, you know, high school sweethearts and all that jazz, so what will it take? I can get you some aspirin, I can soothe you. I got some experience working with kids at kindergarten. You know, when they're all fussy and it's difficult to soothe them? Look, I can try this trick on you. Let me come over. <clears throat> See, that's not bad, is it? Your bed is actually pretty comfy, what the heck? Did you get a new mattress? It's actually not bad at all. Like a soft hug on your butt. <laughs> Look, I'll talk you through it. When we arrive, we'll greet my parents. You've seen them a hundred times before. This is no different, even if we are pretending to be in a relationship. We can even hold hands, or if that's too weird, I can wrap my arm around yours. So you're escorting me across the premises. <laughs> the majority of the food will already be cooked since we'll arrive later on purpose. We go get our paper plates, fill them up to our heart's content, then we can sit in the kitchen and eat while everyone else is in the yard. No one will bat an eye either because that's what lovebirds do. They want to spend time together and be in a private area. Then my grandma can finally stop asking me about getting a boyfriend. It pains me every time she asks. Hmm? Why don't I just try and get a real boyfriend? Well, I guess I'm just waiting for the... <clears throat> I mean, of course I already have a boyfriend. It's you, silly, since you are coming with me to this event. I can be the most affectionate girlfriend ever and stare longingly into your eyes. And, uh, look, affection like that kind of embarrasses me. For me personally, I would much prefer to do those kind of things in private. That includes kissing too. Everyone is different. Maybe you could open up to me for once about it, huh? No? I didn't think so.
let's try this. All my tender loving care that I could possibly offer you to totally be convinced to do a favor with me. I know it's out there, but come on. Remember that time I clocked into your work as you and no one gave two shits? That was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Office job life really isn't that bad, plus it was quiet for the most part. If you act like you know what you're doing half the time, no one bats an eyelash. You look ever so slightly panicked and the jig is up. I know there was a weird social study done where someone went into workspaces with a high-vis jacket and clipboard and no one bothered him. They just wandered around trying to access different rooms and such to show how no one really questioned it. It's quite funny though, or well, I find it entertaining. Maybe you don't because you're too galaxy brain for me. Still considering coming though, right? Okay, okay, what do you think about this scent since you aren't putting up too much resistance? I can go side to side. Surely your lifelong friend is worth sticking your head out for. I know you're sick, but like you're never ill and you can shrug it off. You're like super cool and tough and I'm totally not trying to inflate your ego right now, so you'll come. <laughs> I'll look like such a fool if I roll up by myself. Imagine that, stood up by my own boyfriend. 
Wow, you treat me so terribly, you know that? Almost worse than that time you bought Taco Bell and never got anything for me. Yeah, I still remember. As if you knew I wouldn't want any. You've never made that mistake again, so it worked right. Now we're on the same wavelength. You're seriously still not convinced. <sighs> Fine. Well, what if I try this?
the look on your face, I'm starting to think you're really enjoying this. Did you know you were into this kind of thing, or are you in a whole other world right now with this experience? <laughs> Forget being a foot guy, maybe you're an ear guy. <laughs> You can also do some other things if you like on your other side. All I'm saying is you're helping me with this, so I don't mind helping you back, you know? <laughs> if this is what it takes to bribe you into doing things for me, then I don't mind. It's actually kind of fun doing that. I'm not sure what it's like from your point of view, but uh, let's hope uh, I like you doing this at least. Is one side more sensitive than the other? I can't tell what you prefer yet. You're tensing up. Your expressions are entertaining though. Time's almost up soon, so don't get too comfy. You don't have to be so tense though.
Well, uh, your ten minutes is up, big boy. Time to get out of bed and get dressed. I'll, uh, wait outside for you. I'll phone mom and say that we're heading in their way. Thanks again, dumbass. You really are pulling through for me.